Smooth, Yo, what's going on, bro? It's your boy Chopsticks, bro. I need everybody to subscribe and like to my video, man. I'm back at it again, man. This man came in like what a week ago. This my boy E, bro. He gonna line up in the shade. Just something simple, man. You know, I had to drag it out. You know, it's a YouTube video. I gotta get my boy fresh. So you see, we going in. We preparing the edge up, man, with the JRLs, man. Y'all, shout out to JRL, man. These things are sweet, fool. So I'm taking it down by the inch, going against the grain with a one open. I'm opening and closing the lever. Getting it ain't right smooth and down. So now when we edge up and putting the hands on everything, be smooth. You want to have that that drastic effect of everything being full. You know, you want to make your edge up the easiest part. You never want to work harder. You want to work smarter. That's the key to haircuts and in life. So you see, I'm going in from the middle to the left with my with my snap faces, man. Y'all see that chameleon blade, bro? That shit is sweet, bro. Let's go. Y'all see that supreme? Yes, sir. But y'all see, man, I'm edging them up, man. Where I, where I was, you know, when the last time I edged them up. You know, remember, y'all, don't don't go off on me. He's he not getting a full haircut. It's just a lineup, and I wanted to really, like, um, go in detail about my lineup, man, because, you know, a lot of folks been asking me, man, drop more content, and how you do um, your edge ups, how you get your shit so crispy, and you know what I'm saying? So, so I see I'm just going to lighten it up, man. And what I'm doing is, man, so like when I put the enhancers on, because he wanted still to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, they'd be fresh and stuff. So I wanted to, you know, make everything clean up a little bit. Just touch it up. I'm not going to full fade, just touch it up. So right here, I'm on the right side, right side of the edge up, in the middle to the right. See, right now I'm going back over the spot, detailing, man. Details are everything. I cannot preach this enough, man. Details are everything. As to go into every lineup, making sure that it's at the right spot and being confident. Confidence is key. If you're not confident, your hand will start shaking, man. You will not be confident on where to put the clipper at. You will not be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to be focused. You need to be focused at all times. As y'all see, I'm I'm straightening it up. This is my rough drive. I'm putting the the chalk on. Now the main focus when putting chalk on, for me, this is what I do. I'm not every barber, you know. I do things different on me. Um, I put the chalk on a little thicker than usual, how other people do it, because um, I want the drastic effect of the uh, blemish when I when I scrape the chalk and when I blend the chalk in. I want it to be able to uh, give a drastic contrast from that. The hair fibers or the enhancements. Now you're gonna see what I was talking about right here. I'm gonna go right back over it, over and over again. See what I'm saying? So you got a thick, a thick little feel to it. Going right across it, man. Hey man, I think I'm liking this YouTube stuff, man. Just gotta stay consistent, man. See, I'm finna go in with my semi dye. It's that Temptation can, man. I highly recommend it, bro. But one thing, though, it does cost a lot. It's like it's $11 for a bottle, bro. And um, it, it does take practice to learn how to master this this can because that button on top, it is sensitive. But y'all see, I sprayed it, man. We definitely spraying the cart. You want to spray the bottom of the cart. You never want that, that enhancement to hit the chalk. Once it hits the chalk, it's game over. I tell you folks, it's game over. That's why when you do enhancement, everything is perfect. As you see, I showed you, everything is, you know what I'm saying, straight to me. So we finna go in with the hair fibers. We finna, you know, thicken everything up. We're not making it look coated. We are making it look a little bit more realistic. Making it give it out a little bit more contrast. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more in definition. So we're going in, man. Like you see the little fade that I love. It's not really like in depth, bro. You see all the little dark spots up top. I just did the little bottle, man. So like when I put the hands on it, look. You know what I'm saying? Look cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. You can't can't tell me this ain't ice cream, bro. Uh, yes, sir. As y'all see, like when you put the hair fibers over the temptation, it's gonna look like it's not doing anything. But trust and believe it is. Trust and believe it is. As you see, it gave a little bit more harsh line on that line, but it did still fade into it. Look at my boy, y'all. Uh. Stop it. <laughs> Get some help. Yeah, that. 
But yeah, we're going in with my chalk grabbers. Y'all finna see me do my thing, man. I was going and we going in and we pulling out. Going up and then we pulling out. Same thing, bro, with the chalk chalk grabbers. You do not want to touch any enhancements. You just wanna chalk you just wanna touch on the chalk. That's it. Touch on the chalk, that's all. If you start going into the, the enhancements, the enhancement will go into your clipper blade and it will drag into the chalk and the chalk will start looking black. And now you have a disaster at that point. Now you might as well just, you know what I'm saying, tell the client and you know what I'm saying? Go by it and study and don't have, let that happen again. <laughs> but yeah, but all my newcomers that's watching the video, I am a 20 year old barber from uh, originally from Alabama. I just recently moved to Dallas. Um, what, three weeks? Three weeks? Four weeks ago? And um, I'm on my YouTube journey, man. I'm started the path of YouTube, bro. So I said, man, new life, man. Start doing new things. Yeah, definitely blessed for the shop I'm at, man, and definitely blessed for my talent, my gift of hands. And if I, like I said, man, if there's any barber out here, man, that want to be coached or hit me up or want to learn anything, definitely hit me up. DM me, reply, show support. I support you. I'm definitely here for all my black people or any people, man, like all my barbers, bro. Barbering is not just a job to me. It's, it's my passion, it's my livelihood. Let y'all see, I'm going in in depth. See that chalk, man. These chalk grabbers are crucial. I put that rose gold. That rose gold just do something to me, man, with the chalk grabbers, bro. Highly advise it. As y'all see, man, we're going in and out. You see what line that gave out? Oh my God, bro. Glacier game, man. It's my boy E, man. We having good talks with my boy, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you see I'm detailing everything, man. Making everything nice and sharp. Now, as a barber, bro, I want to stress this enough that that all barbers, bro, learn how to be emotionally connected with your clients. That is everything, man. That separates you from any average barber also. As y'all see, man, look at the edge of man. It's A1 pressure. Like I was saying, make sure y'all are emotionally inclined with y'all clientele. No matter if it's from Eric, to no matter from, from John, from Johnny, whoever. Make sure like you are participating in their lives. Not not in just like just combo about you know BS man or girls or whatever. Actually dig into their personal, actually talk to them about their livelihood and you know things that they're comfortable about it can definitely make y'all a stronger connection and it can like you know make everything tighter within y'all business you would definitely get a referral every day you know what i'm saying he, would, he definitely wouldn't mind shooting you out he definitely wouldn't mind doing the least for you even if that's just coming on time to his appointment you know what i'm saying just dropping a little knowledge on you, man, on how I do things. I mean, if you can try it out, man, it might not work for the best, but I know that's that's what I do. I, I like to have a family, not not hoes. I refer my walk-ins as hoes, man, because they're not they're not a permanent spot in your life, man. They just in and out. They really just want their cut. And they just really want your skills. They don't definitely want to pour into you. And they don't want you to pour into them. They just want to keep it simple. They just want to cut and leave it like that. And that's, that's wasting my time. I like viable people and people for the long run in my life at all times. But yeah, y'all see I'm going in with the razor, man. Sorry, man. I know y'all can't see anything. I got to get my angles right. But yeah, man. We going in with that, that chameleon blade, man. I see I got the razor also, too. But yeah, man. I'm just tightening up the fade. I'm fading down the beard, man. Getting everything nice and right. Yes, sir. Shout out to my boy with these beats, man. This my boy, um, Jamil, man. It's one of my boys back in Bama, bro. Shout out to my boy, Sko, too. I put him on a background beats also. But yeah, man, you see I'm fading down, man. It's just the fading process backwards, man. It's not, it's not, it's not science, just... 
You know what I'm saying? Fade backwards, bro. It's really, really, haircuts is really like math when it comes down to levers and guards and stuff like that, man. But after that, it's really just making a line look like a line. It's like put a line in, put a line out. You know what I'm saying? Fading and art and all that other stuff. But y'all see you know, what I'm doing right now? I'm giving him a little tint on the beard. Then I come in with the fibers. And then that's why I'm gonna straighten everything up. Now y'all see, you're gonna go see a little X mark where I make with the um, the fibers. Even though that's a curve, right? The supposed to be right there. Y'all see like the little, the little it look like kind of like a little mess up right there. Like, like I ain't got it all the way filled up. But as y'all see, when I thin the chalk, y'all gonna see how it's gonna come together. And I'm hitting the back line with these uh, fibers, man. Y'all see what it do, bro. Y'all see what it do. Hey, stay consistent, stay steady, man, and stay, stay motivated. Make sure your mornings are correct and make sure your mornings are positive. So when you get to work, you will be at your healthiest state of mind as possible. You never just want to be cutting just to be cutting. Always cut out of your heart and passion. So get yourself in order. Get your mindset in order. So you just won't be taking money. You know what I'm saying? You'll be giving smiles. You'll give reassurance. You'll give confidence. you give all these things during the haircut. Yes, sir. Everything starts with you, bro. Yes, sir. Man, y'all blessing people's lives out here, man. Quit being stingy, bro. It's not all about the money, man. But as y'all see, I'm just detailing these few little, little details with the beard. As y'all see, man, this is... You can tell why this nigga holding his head, bro. This nigga, man, confident, bro. He love the cut, bro. Definitely one of my top customers, man. Man, right before this, man, I was at the mall getting more customers, man. And, man, he had called me. He had set a little late appointment, man, getting a lineup and shave. I was like, oh, man, I just seen it. I was at the I was at the mall trying to get more clients. Yeah, like I said, I just came out here, so I'm trying to get people known because, shit, man, these cuts, bro. Ice cream, man. Look at that line, man. Bro, I barely faded, bro. Look at the fade, man. I ain't even, it just went up a little bit. Ooh. But as y'all see that pinky right there, man, y'all see that pinky, my pinky finger? That's my steady hand for when I'm using the shave. I mean, not the shavers, but the trimmers. Remember, foundation is everything. As y'all see, this is the before. Oh my God. This is the before, bro. My boy don't even look like himself. <laughs> and y'all look at this. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And y'all look at that, man. It's just a line in the shade, bro. Get y'all again, man. I know you had to see that one more time. I ain't even gonna do y'all like that, bro. Y'all see that, man. Yes, sir. Now, I need everybody to like this video. This is straight pressure, man. Share and comment. 